right, so I got my 2017 archery buck here, uh, and the hunt video is already posted, so you can check that out if you want. But this video is going to be about how I do a European mount, uh, my process for boiling and whitening the skulls. I've done this quite a few times, so uh, you know I've changed my process up each time, trying to improve it, and I think I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, so basically, what I got here is just a, for the first step, uh, a couple different knives. You know, there doesn't really matter. I just like having more than one. Uh, you might want to have something like a, a screwdriver or a fillet knife to get in uh, to some nooks and crannies on the skull. I always have a knife sharpener on me because you always want a good sharp knife. And then uh, gloves, you know, you don't want to mess with diseases, especially when you're working with brain matter and stuff like that. Just, you know, they're cheap. Just get gloves um, and wear them. So the last thing I have is just my... Uh, my bucket here for my flushing. Uh, when I flush animals, flushings just drop into there. So that's going to be for the scraps. Um, first thing, we're just going to basically skin this uh, head out and we're going to take as much meat and flush off with our knives as we can. Alright, so basically uh, we're ready for the boiling process now. Uh, I've been hands on for about, it looks like 43 minutes. Uh, and, you know, basically you're just going to want to get as much of that stuff out. The eye sockets are sometimes a problem area uh, when you're pressure washing it. So try to get as much of that meat out as you can. Um, around the base of the antlers, cut down to uh, as much as you can on the base of the antlers as you can. The top of the skull is pretty much, once you skin it, it's ready to be boiled. Um, and then on the bottom jaw, I like to, uh, some people will just take this once they get it out and pitch it, but I always like to boil this. It takes, you know, hardly any time to scrape some of this meat off and you just, you know, drop it in the bottom of the pot while you're boiling the skull. Um, and I have a video of uh, making a a deer picture frame with the bottom jaw. I think it's pretty interesting, pretty cool project. And in that video, I also show some of the mounts I've made using the bottom jaw as well. Um, so I think there's some cool things you can make with them, as well as once you get it boiled, if you just look it up, you can uh, look up how to age deer by the inside of the, the, the gum line on the inside of the teeth. And uh, you know, if it's really old, you'll have to judge it by the wear on the top of the teeth. But I always think that's pretty cool as well, so uh, I always throw it in there. But basically, we're ready for the boiling process, so I'm going to get that set up for you right now. All right, so I've had the first boiling process going for about 45 minutes or so here. We're actually not boiling it. We're, we're kind of sitting at a simmer. Uh, boiling is a little hot, and it, it's kind of going to soften the skull, so... All you're really aiming to do here is cook the meat and tissue that's left on the skull so it can loosen up. Um, depending on how well you scraped your skull to begin with, uh, this process can take anywhere from you know an hour or to up to two or three hours. But I scraped mine pretty well, and you can see the meat that's left on there is, is cooked, and uh, it's already starting to fall off the bone. So that's what we're looking for. Um, 
you know, this, this process really isn't smelly or dirty or all that bad. So I, I'm doing it inside. You can do it inside if, as long as your wife or mom or whoever uh, lets you do that. Uh, otherwise, you know, I've done it outside when it's nice out and warm, uh, just on the turkey fryer. Um, I do add a little bit of dish soap at this point in the boiling process. It's not critical because there's a lot of fat and, and oil in the meat. Um, the, that's what the dish soap is doing. It's kind of grabbing that out of there. Uh, later on in the process, it's more important, and I do use borax, uh, dish detergent, and I never use bleach. Um, bleach can soften your skull to the point where it will like get powdery and flake off. So you don't want to use bleach. Um, and another thing with bleach is it the antler that's uh, submerged in the water will actually get bleached and it'll whiten and uh, some people will stain that back to you know a natural color but just knowing that that was bleached out uh, I, I don't really like that so I'm gonna do it right um, keep it natural but uh, this one is almost ready to, to head out side we'll scrape it and just a little bit and then pressure wash it so I'm gonna give it maybe another 15 minutes or so and then I'll show you that all right so I got the skull set up on this board here um, basically that's for pressure washing and just keeping the uh, the mud and stuff down uh, I do have this you know just cheapo electric pressure washer hooked up and it's 1300 psi and it seems to have worked pretty well for me over the years. You don't want something too high pressure because uh, it will blow through some parts of the skull. Um, you know, so if you have something that you can dial back the pressure, that'll work. Uh, somewhere around 1500, I wouldn't go much higher than that. Uh, maybe 2000, but I'll, I'll get the scrape in it and then I'll show you a little bit of how I'm pressure washing it. So the first pressure washing is pretty much done. Um, you saw how that just peels the flesh right off. Uh, it gets into places where you can't get the knife and scrape it out, but there is still some, you know, fleshy stuff and material tissue that's uh, in certain small holes that the pressure washer wouldn't get out inside the brain cavity. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and boil it again. That stuff will loosen up. And in this second boil is when we'll really start to try to leach any grease out of the actual bone. Because there is grease and oil inside the bone. And if you don't get it out, uh, it turns yellow over time. So I'll show you that. Alright, so we're at the second boil here. Uh, we do have a little bit of tissue and meat left on the skull. We have to loosen that up so we can pressure wash that away. But we are going to start focusing on trying to get the grease and oil that's in the skull itself leached out. So uh, in order to do that we use dish detergent and I use borax. Um, basically uh, each time I boil it the boiling time will get longer because we're removing more grease quickly in the first couple boils and then uh, as I go it's going to get a little bit harder and take longer to penetrate in and remove more grease. So one thing you want to be careful about is uh, borax is quite a bit stronger than dish detergent so it actually will do the same thing as bleach it will start to deteriorate the bone itself and turn it to powder um, if you leave it in too long so you know this boil may take an hour and a half or so um, but as we go I'm gonna start backing off how much borax I use 
as the boiling time gets longer so I don't damage the skull. Alright, so the pressure washing is done and there's two things I want to talk about that I did. Um, one is taking out the ear canals which are located right here on either side. Uh, basically you can just chip them out with like you know needle nose or screwdriver or something but there's like little bits of tissue inside those that you can't really get to uh, if you don't chip those out and it allows it opens up a couple holes that you can aim the pressure washer in and get the brain matter out uh, a little bit more easily uh, the second thing is on the bottom jaws if you end up doing these that I normally take the teeth out um, before I do the second pressure washing because if you don't they'll fly out of there and you'll lose them um, but if you can see this hole right here and then as you go to the back and flip it over there's another hole right there uh, those two holes are actually connected and so you want to aim the pressure washer down this one and you'll see you'll blow some stuff out of here then you aim it down this way and you may blow some stuff out this way then you you know you keep flipping it back and forth it takes a little while but you want to get all that material out of there because if you don't it'll start to stink uh, same with the ear canals so but now that it's done we're gonna go back in the pot and uh, keep trying to get the grease and oil out of the skull so we're about two hours into the third boil I'm probably gonna leave this in for another hour or so and then change out the water and maybe do one final boil but uh, I got one last tip for you and then I'm gonna end the video I'll do the whitening process in a separate video um, but the last thing is to kind of gauge maybe how much you need to continue to boil your skull or if you can be done uh, if you get a few hours in and you start to see this stuff on the side of the pot uh, it's actually oil that's accumulating it's rising to the top of the water and accumulating uh, on the side of the pot so it's a pretty good indication that you know you're still leaching oil out of the skull and maybe you need to change out the water soon and uh, continue to boil if you get a couple hours in and you don't see that then uh, that's a pretty good indication that you have leached you know almost all that oil and grease out of the skull and you can pretty much be done boiling um, you know that's about it this this really isn't that difficult of a process uh, it is time consuming but pretty much anybody can do it so thanks for watching and stay tuned for my skull whitening video